We're in Amsterdam, the Demir Stadium, for highlights from the game between Ajax of Amsterdam and NAC Breda. Ajax leaders in Holland, unbeaten so far this season in any competition. They're through to the quarterfinals of the European Cup and the Dutch Cup, and they're still to taste defeat in the Dutch League. As for NAC Breda, they've been struggling this season. They went behind in this game after 13 minutes. A corner from Fanidi George, the bicycle kick from Frank de Boer. The chance then snapped up by Patrick Kluvert. All came from the corner. And Frank de Boer, who had pushed forward in this game because his brother Ronald de Boer was out through injury. Good bicycle kick this. It's well stopped on the line, but Patrick Kluver reacts quickly. It's 1-0 to the league leaders after just 13 minutes. 11 minutes later, Ajax increased their lead. Benini George again very much involved. The long ball over the defence. Van Vossum on that far side. And there's Kluver, goal number 15 of the season for the 18-year-old. The symbol is of task to push that one in. Well, Ajax went into this game, as I said, without Ronald De Boer, with, also without Yari Lipmanen, who was injured. But you would never have known they're 2-0 up after 24 minutes. And Kluvert leading the goal-scoring charts now with 15 goals. Ajax 2, NAC Breda 0. Three minutes later, NAC created their first chance. It's Lammers with the cross and Burek with the diving header. And Frank De Boer back in a defensive role, clearing that one off the line. 39 minutes into the first half, Ajax had gifted this third goal. A bad clearance. Peter Van Vossen plays it across to Danny Blinn. He thinks about shooting, then cuts it to the far post. Jean Van de Bruyne completely unmarked. That's his fourth goal of the season. And Ajax lead by three goals to nil. A good switch in play this from the Dutch champions. And Blind, the defender, up helping the attack. He might have thought of the shot there himself. Rather unselfish in the end, but he lays on the third goal. Right on the stroke of half-time, a lifeline for NAC. As they attack, the ball pushed through. And Frank Reichard here pulls the player back. Concedes the penalty, but also gets the yellow card, which means that Rijkaard will miss the next game for Ajax of Amsterdam, which will be against Feyenoord. An opportunity for NAC. They score from the penalty spot. Peter Rennie sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. So at half-time, Ajax of Amsterdam 3, NAC Breda 1. Well, Ajax could have scored just five minutes after the half-time break. Frank de Boer with the long ball forward. Winston Bugard lose the defense but can't get it past the goalkeeper who got another one of the youngsters being brought through by Ajax of Amsterdam 58 minutes gone in this match a chance for NAC Breda their chances were few and far between the finish in that time leaving a lot to be desired no worries at all for Edwin van der Sar certainly their coach Ronald Spellboss was not happy with that type of finishing Eight minutes from the end of the game, NAC created yet another chance. We pick up the action with the score 2-0 to Roda. 34 minutes into the first half, goal number three coming up for Roda. Off the free kick from Eric van der Lure. It's Maurice Graf who gets on the end of it. It makes it 3-0 to Roda. And that's how it stayed until the half-time break. 14 minutes into the second half, Maurice Graf again is the player who puts Roda 4-0 up. An attack down the far side. The defenders back off of him. He shoots from the edge of the penalty area. That made it 4-0. Well, the Rota players can celebrate. Back on the winning track after that loss last weekend to PSV Eindhoven. In fact, they scored a late goal in the 64th minute to make it 5-0 against Vitesse. A disappointing performance from Vitesse, who have been flirting in the top six so far this season. PSV Eindhoven travelled to Duertrek. It didn't take them long to settle to the conditions. A goal after just two minutes. Linskins is the player involved. Valtas puts it through. And then Ronaldo outpaces the defence. And PSV are a goal up inside 120 seconds. Well, that's how it stayed until the half-time break. One minute after the half-time break, PSV got their second goal. Luke Nielis with the corner. Eric Meyer 
who'd come on as a substitute, gets the important touch, his first goal of the season. It finishes Dortrecht nil, PSV 2. We're off now to Tilburg, where Willem's Way entertain MVV from Maastricht. MVV have struggled this season. Willem's Way have been very inconsistent. It was Willem's Way, though, who got the all-important goal in the second half. He came after 63 minutes. Vugas is the player who was involved after a pass from Silas. And in the end, Louis Laros is there to bundle it over the line. It was the only goal in the match, and it gave Willem's Way a victory by one goal to nil. So a look at the standings in Holland. Ajax still three points clear at the top, still unbeaten. Roda, though, very, very close. FC Twente are third. And PSV Eindhoven, thanks to that victory, are in fourth spot. Feyenoord's game this weekend was cancelled because of flooding. And a look at the scoring leaders in Holland. Patrick Kluver with a...